Hi and welcome back. Today I just wanted to talk a little bit about how it's very possible that you can grow a small account. I was able to do that in the last couple of years. And one of the strategies that I like implementing into my trade is selling cash secured puts. It's almost like setting a buy limit and collecting a small premium just by waiting. But you wanna be able to sell cash secured puts on stocks that you don't mind owning on solid companies. But before I continue on, just wanna let you know that I am not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes only. I just created a Patreon page where like-minded people can talk about stocks, whether that is penny stocks, grow the stocks and dividend stocks, as well as option trading in cryptocurrency, just about anything to help grow our portfolios so we can all achieve financial freedom. If you are interested, it is $10 per month, which equates to about just 33 cents a day. And you get access to the private Discord channel. You have access to my portfolio. I have Robinhood, Thinkorswim, and Weeble. And I am also gonna do quarterly giveaways and you will have a community to grow. So let's take a look at how much I made this year. So this is my IRA account. You can see here my IRA account. I've been putting in a certain amount of money into this account. So if you're under a certain age, you can only put up $6,000. So I've been putting into this account for the past five years now. So if you guys don't already have an individual retirement account, you guys should definitely open one up. So this account, I've already made $24,000. This is realized gain year to date. So let's take a look at see what my positions were. So this is experience investments. This is a covered call. So if you guys have 100 shares of the underlying stock, you can sell cover calls against your shares. So your brokerage will use your 100 shares as collateral. But in doing so, you collect a small premium. So let's say you wanted to sell 100 shares at a specific price. You can do that by selling a cover call and collect a premium while you wait for the stock price to hit your strike price. It's no brainer there. If you're planning to sell at a specific price anyway, might as well sell a cover call. I was able to collect $19. It doesn't seem like it's a lot, but $19 here and there, it adds up very quickly. Another stock that I had holding was Huya. I sold a cover call on this. You can see it was $19 here. I had Lee Auto, Neo shares, 35 shares I sold, and I did cover calls on these. You can see cover calls, cover calls, cover calls. These are all short positions here. And I collected $17, not a lot, $90 on one, and $300 on another one. And then this was another call here. So you see this cash secure put, it says negative 1,000. It was because the stock price is below my strike price. So I have 51 strike price. I had to roll this over to next week. I did a video on that if you guys are interested in watching. So if this option expires worthless, I get to keep the entire premium. So it does count as a loss up front, but when it does expire next week or whenever it does expire worthless, it will cover this loss here. And then I sold NRZ on Friday because I wanted to use that extra money so I can average down on the, on the stocks that have gone been up in the last two weeks. So I was able to collect $7,000 on this. And oh, I sold last week. And then Palantir cover calls. See, I have Palantir shares, $14. And then I sold a cash care put, made about 100. Sold another cash care put and made another hundred. So for these, these have low stock price. So all you really need is three thousand dollars 
in your accounts to place these cash to care puts. And then another cover call, you can see it's very low, but it adds up. And in QuantumScape, I sold a cash to care put, collected $184. I sold Sundial, I made a video on that. I sold Sundial when it went to 240 and I got in around 60 cents, I kept buying around that price. And then I also sold a cash secure put, you see two strike price, I collected $160. I was trying to tell people that to sell cash secure puts, sell cover calls because the IV, the implied volatility is very high. So you want to be selling cash secure puts. Do we have cover calls here as well? Vaxar. So when Vaxar went up to $23, the IV was very high. So I sold cover calls on them, but the stock price went down. So I am still holding on to Vaxar at a loss right now, but I was able to collect all these premiums, which reduced my cost basis. And then Wish, I did another cover call. See, $29 and then $100 here. X paying $500. And Zometica, I sold some shares. $2,000 I made. So it's mostly green. Let's look at the unrealized gaining loss. So I am still up $1,200, even though the market has been down for the last two weeks. So I am down on a lot of positions here like SIRC, but I am very confident all these will recover. So that's why I wanted to sell NRZ to average down on most of these stocks. And you can see I sold cash secure puts on NEO, Sundial, Vaxar, Vaxar. So you can collect extra income by selling cash secure puts. And if you don't know what that is, let me know in the comments below or you can join my Patreon page. And then let's take a look at last year, last year, 2020. I've made $28,000. So it was last year when I discovered selling options, it changed everything. And let's see my losses here. So this was HMNY. Movie Pass went bankrupt and I was had to hold this. Luckily, I didn't have that many shares. So I'm only down $1,000. When a company is going bankrupt, never buy the stocks because you never know what can happen. They really can go bankrupt, like HMNY. And then you can see the cash secure put, I had to roll it over. It expired worthless, so I was able to cover this $100. So I made roughly $50 from this. And then sold some Oxy Palantir, I sold RCL, SPG, and then I have some X paying cash secure put as well. So the last two years have been profitable. It was 2019 when I wasn't and this is why i blindly bought stocks that i had no clue about because everyone was talking about it i don't know if you heard of mdr i didn't and i still don't really know what it's about but i took a big loss so that stock i blindly got into not knowing not doing any type of research and then this one tvix this was a very volatile stock I didn't know too much about and I lost a big amount of money. So total loss here was $6,000. In 2018, I didn't open this account then. I started this account back in 2019. So you can see my account went from negative 6,000 to a positive 28,000. And then so far this year, I'm up $24,000. So in this account, I try to focus on buying quality stocks as well as selling cash to care puts guys you want to be selling cash to care puts if you're buying if you're planning to buy a hundred shares of the underlying stock or selling cover calls if you have a hundred shares of the underlying stock i'm showing this because i really believe that people can make money in the stock markets i'm not trying to find home runs i'm trying to be as consistent as possible so I can do this every year. I don't want to ruin my accounts. If I do, I can no longer trade and that would be a disaster. Thank you guys for watching. If you got this far, please let me know what you think of my portfolio and what you think of cash secure puts. Do consider joining the Patreon page. I do share my updates in the Market Gold Investor tier and I'm just trying to find people where we can talk about stocks, cryptocurrency, and options and just grow as a community and growing our accounts together trading and investing can be lonely and you just want to be able to do it with a community so do consider joining the patreon page thanks so much